आदरणीय चीफ गेस्ट मंत्री महोदय श्रीजुक्त पृथ्वीराज हरिचंदन जी मिस्टर गौतम खन्ना डॉक्टर संघमित्रा पति मिस्टर जैना मिस्टर साहू अपन माने समस्तों को मोरो विनम्र नमस्कार सो एम वेरी वेरी हैप्पी टू बी हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी आल्सो थैंक द ऑर्गेनाइजर्स फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी इन फैक्ट व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट इन आर डेली lives when we are dealing with administrative issues when all of you in the media are trying to deal with the breaking news sometimes i think it is important that we get together in a single room otherwise we get caught up in too many smaller events and fire fighting that we don't plan ahead therefore i think it is important that we get together in a single room to highlight things that are important for odisha important for health in odisha so once again thank you so much for having me here and when i speak about planning for the future how long one should plan for odisha should it be one year two years in fact for a sector like health where i would echo the sentiments highlighted by mr khanna that odisha has made tremendous progress in in health sector however we still have miles to go and how do we get there and what should we do to get there now recently apan mane samasya sunithebe odisha sarkar got a planning process aram karichanti विकसित ओडिशा फॉर विकसित भारत विकसित ओडिशा इन 2036 फॉर विकसित भारत इन 2047 यस वी आर प्लानिंग टू हैव अ विजन फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू डेकेड्स नाउ इफ वी हैव टू प्लान फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू डेकेड्स एंड सिंस ऑल ऑफ यू आर हियर हु आर एक्सपर्ट्स इन योर ओन फील्ड्स what are the few things that one should keep in mind when we plan for health sector in odisha for nine, in 2036 and 2047 what are those key trend that one should have a focus on number 1 is that there is a demographic transition towards aging population this is happening across the world not just in our country it is happening across different states in our country and it is happening in odisha in fact in odisha the proportion of elderly population which is 60 plus is expected to grow from 9.3% which was there in the time at the time of the last census to 18.1 which is almost double by 2036 so what does it mean in terms of health health sector and health care provision is it about geriatric care is it about ensuring that our elderly population remain productive so there are lot of other issues that comes into play when we have this as a key trend a second trend the triple burden of disease where we have communicable disease where you have non communicable and injuries and we've also seen how this non communicable disease is increasing in in states like odisha which i'm sure is concerned for experts like dr pati as well next key trend for us would be the threat of climate change and extreme climate events which we have been seeing in our state i had first come to odisha in the year 2004 as a trainee jethe vale ame asithilu as a fresh trainee what we could hear was all about the super cyclone and my first experience with a cyclone of that magnitude 
was sometime in 2013 with filing. So it took almost 15 year gap, 14 year gap. But from that filing till today, another 14 year gap, we have seen multiple cyclones. So these kind of events are becoming more regular. This year, again, we have, I'm happy to see that one of our torch bearers of our uh, department, our frontline workers, Mrs. Shibani Mandal and Manas Malik are here who have done exemplary work in the recent uh, dana. But the fact is that these events are becoming regular. So how do we incorporate this climate change in our policy and our planning? Next key trend would be the threat of frequent emerging and re-emerging infectious diseases, including pandemics. We have seen COVID. And in between, we have heard about so many other infectious diseases like monkeypox in recent times. Now, it seems like something happening in a far away corner of the world suddenly is becoming important for everybody. So how do we plan for that? How do we take into account the fact that it is a much more globalized world? It's a much more interconnected world. How do we protect ourselves from these infectious and diseases and pandemics? Next big trend is going to be the emergence of digital technology, especially AIML. How can we make use of these facilities? In fact, today there was uh, a publication on how this can be used for detecting fraud in, in medical, uh, medicine, medicine and medical delivery of health services. So how do we make use of this big data and AIML? for health service delivery. And finally, I would like to highlight the big trend of urbanization and changing and evolving social structure. In fact, the data says that by 2047, India's urbanization rate is likely to grow by 51%. What does it mean? It means clustering of population in urban area, it means lot of migrant population. It means difficult to track and trace uh, spread of sometimes diseases. It also means that with urbanization comes change in societal structure and maybe perhaps even increased mental health issues. So how do we plan for that? So see, these are some of the key trends that experts have identified will be very, very relevant for us to understand and incorporate while we make the policy. So I hope that these key trends will be kept at the center when we have deliberations in the subsequent panel discussions here today. Before we end, let me also compliment the organizers that you have organized the program as Health Connect and not as healthcare connect. Because I think the direction in which government of Odisha would like to take the sector forward is to have the broader health sector in mind rather than just the healthcare part of it. That is the reason why we have recently, our Honorable Prime Minister had laid the foundation stone of the Central Institute of Yoga and Naturopathy at Chetney. That is the reason why we'll soon be having another institute for uh, Ayurveda in our state. That's the reason why, as uh, Dr. Pati had mentioned, why we should have the wellness centers across the state providing preventive and wellness-related uh, services to the larger public. So therefore, and I think since you have precision, prevention, and progress, the path to better health, uh, will be in the focus in the subsequent deliberations. Once again, let me thank all of you for having me here and for being a patient audience. Thank you so much. Jodi apanonko amma video ti bhalla gila, tebe amma channel ko like, share or subscribe karipa ko jama bhi bulon to nahi.